everybody. Today we're going to take a look at a uh, transformer I got from cr for Christmas. It's a knockoff oversized sound wave with laser beak and ravage. So I thought it would be kind of fun to look at this. It's actually not Sound Blaster. It's the, uh, yeah, actually it is Sound Blaster because it's got the double cassette holder up there so I actually do have that mold because I have the Toys R Us Anniversary sound wave which you know is the sound blaster mold with the double cassette so I thought it'd be fun I could contrast and compare here um, but first off we'll take a look at the cassettes so you can see here is Ravage he did come with his two bombs he looks okay his legs are just like there's a joint here there's a joint here, and everything else is just molded in place silver. So you can kind of get kind of a running pose for him, but that's about it. Uh, he kind of suffers for it. But, you know, there you get to take a look. Um, Plastic-wise, he feels really solid, I have to say. Better than the plastic quality of that uh, BF-19 knockoff I looked at. Um... But it's just his, the way his legs are done are just not good. Of course, he transforms, you know, just like a G1 Ravage. And I just fold the legs up under there. And fold these back and up. And nothing really stays quite exactly where it should. I mean, they're just kind of springy. But he does make a decent cassette mode. So... There you go. Now the laser beak comes out much better for this because I have to say he is very cool. You can see they even were okay with doing the fa a fake Decepticon symbol, but you know I'm pretty sure laser beak had an additional wing that would fold out on the sides, which he doesn't have, of course. But I mean, all in all, I think he comes across pretty well. A little paint for his eyes he'd be pretty decent looking and of course transform for him is just the same you take the weapons off you slide the head down and in to the body you push the wings up there you go snap that in place push the wings up and then you fold up the uh, legs here. Well, I guess I actually should have done that first. Alright, let me clip everything together. And there you have a mess on this side with the decals. They are just horribly off-centered. Keeps making me want to think that the center piece of plastic is on wrong, but it's really just that uh, sticker. It's funny, the little fake Decepticon symbol is blue here. But it's red here. And then on, did Ravage even have one? Nope. So, there you go, there's the cassette. <coughs> so, I'll take a look at him, Soundwave Blaster Man himself. Let me get a look at here at the head. As you can see, the head, I'm going to take the gun off here. Is kind of blue with this like red. I don't know. I guess that's supposed to be his eyes in there. Not too bad. They actually put paint apps on there. I mean, otherwise, got a lot of molded details on them. Comes with both the weapons. The joints are okay. Let's see, looking at his legs. Got all the stickers on there. I mean, these actually both move. It actually has the battery compartment here. Ow! Which I'm expecting this piece of plastic, which is really thin and not good quality, to shatter anytime now. It's kind of weird in here. He's actually got stress marks on him already, and I don't know if those are screws that went in there and stressed it, but. But you can push the button, because that door does open up. 
theoretically it will hold two cassettes. I say theoretically because both cassettes do not necessarily transform down as nicely as they should. See like that? See it's sitting there like it should, but you come over here and it's angled up where this one's flat. But I don't know why that would be. Well, that's everything looks like it's pushed together. Hmm. Maybe not screwed down quite as much on that side. I'm gonna watch the quality control. Well, they've gone in. I don't know if they'll ever come back out. Ugh, barely. Oh, see, now I don't know what happened. Now they've pushed back in. Very odd. Well, a little bit of help they actually fit in there. Transform them is just like the sound wave, you know. He fold in his hands or push up his hands. His arms are gonna fold back here. And turn the head around, put it up. Now down here you flip up the feet. Turn the leg to the side, and then it's just going to come up and around. Now this side does not fit together. It looks like the plastic is just a little too wide actually to go into that space. On this side we twist, we bring up, we push it all together, and it goes perfectly in. So, I don't know if they over tightened a screw on this side or what they did to a plastic so you know knock off what can you do but there he is in his cassette mode and he's not too bad plastic's okay I mean you know, if you were like a display piece here and of course his weapons are too long to fit in the battery compartment <laughs> oversized weapons but yeah, that's that's him. So we just transform back. He just reverse everything back out. The arms back around. And I'll form the head. There we go. <coughs> What's weird too is he's got one sticker here and two here. I don't quite know what that's about. But I do have the actual Hasbro release. Like I said, this is the Toys R Us 20th anniversary, I think it was. Um, Soundwave. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference size-wise there. But all in all, a decent representation. Uh, if they had a little better plastic on it, it would be much cooler. But, you know, not too bad the way it is. So, I thought I'd... Uh, I think I'll wrap this up here. There's not a whole much more to say about him. I mean, he's a G1 knockoff. So, anyway, I thought he'd be fun to look at. So... Thank you for uh, watching and uh, we'll see you again later.